From there, go outside, water her, and then you bring her back, okay? Okay. I can even put plates like they Mommy. did. Mommy, yeah. you said that you buy me a watering can. Shabi, you had a watering can before, where is it? I don't know. We didn't spoil it or anything. Mm -hmm. How do you know you didn't spoil it? Say your answer, get us a be. You guys see sunshine and moonlight. We brought them downstairs and they are out of their cage. Please remind me to buy granules for them. Remember their food. Hello. Hello. You be better talk, if not, pull our school fees back. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Abdeze's space, which is my mom's vlog. And today we are going to the salon and we are going to be see making one, our one, hair. One, one. Hello. We are going to be making our hair. Can today. you go and keep daddy's magnets back? Hi guys, so we are going to the salon now. I'm taking the kids to go and make their hair. People should come and pack my things though. Oh yeah. Take my laptop, take my, my phone charger and my phone. I'm taking them to go and make their hair for the month. Well, yeah, for the month actually. <laughs> they make their hair every three weeks. Um, I'm most likely going to drop them and come back because I heard that the last time, last time they made their hair, I was I, I was not around. I was in Zanzibar. I heard that they did not cry. They were just, I mean, Sophia. It's okay that they did not cry. So, say hi guys. No, Eva did not cry too. Say hi guys. Yeah. Mm. It's because they blow dry your hair. Um, they often blow dry Cora's hair, and I told them not to blow dry it and not to make the hair wet because sometimes or most times people mistake Texlax hair for relaxed hair. You can't treat Texlax hair the way you treat relaxed hair. You actually treat Texlax hair the way you treat natural hair, okay? So you can't be blow drying it anyhow and you can't be placing it anyhow because it's going to pain the child if the child has or if the person if the person has sensitive scalp, okay? Because the hair still has a lot of texture in it. So you can't just be doing it anyhow. Anyway, so uh, that's the only reason why Cora cried, but normally she doesn't cry when they make their make her hair there because they're very gentle, they are very um good with hair. You guys know the salon and Jackie's Bella Fro, so they're very good with hair. So I'm going to drop them there and come back and do other things for myself and I'll go and pick them back. Let's see you. That's what I said I'm going to do. When I reach there now, that's when I will now know whether I actually have the mind to leave them and come back. <laughs> Even though I've left them before. I should not leave people and come back. No. Why? Because I want you to stay. Why? When I stay, you start misbehaving. That's why you put Christ be too much. Try this one. This one with her hair like a Medusa hair. Eh, yeah, Sophia. Sophia is still wearing her nightwear because she's going to wash her hair there and have her baths there, then she will not change. I hope they have a bathroom. Oh. They have a Same salon, but she has a new location. The new location is on, is on 23 on Herbert. 23 on Herbert. 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 <laughs> 23 on Herbert is her new location. Like, she has two locations now. So, there's still the old one that was at um, Room of Biakani or so. Or room of, I forgot in near Shell. I -A -A -R -A. Um, but this one is on 23 on Herbert, near 15 on Herbert. So that's where we're going to now. Let us go. See my own hair, my own hair self. Anyway, I just made it though. It's just that my hair is due, so my edges are always disgracing themselves. But it's, it's enough. It's okay. I don't mind. Um, let's go. 
You guys, I am interrupting this vlog to bring you something quite interesting, okay? No, this is not sponsored and I'm saying that because sometimes I feel like you guys might think we only talk about products because they are sponsored or we don't talk about products or we say we don't like some products because they are not sponsored. No, that's not how, personally, that's not how I think. If I don't like something, I don't like it, whether it's sponsored or not. Like, I'm not going to take something I don't like and say I like it just because of money, okay? They never pay me rich. <laughs> the money no rich. <laughs> nah, the money no rich. I don't think the money will ever reach, okay? Anyway, so you guys know that I have big feet, right? And I wear size US 12, depending on the shoes. Some shoes I wear 13 and it's okay. But I just, my, I think I'm a perfect US 12 or 12 wide. You know, but I can get away with just a US 12 and then um, 44, 45. So, most times I've had bad experiences with shoes in the past since I was younger. Anytime I want to buy shoes, it's either my shoes are very expensive or they're very ugly. You know, that's if I find my size. So, if I manage to find my size, you just be seeing boots, you you know, ugly, ugly basket shoes like this. I'm just like, who do people make these ones for? But thank God for. You know brands that are now making shoes for big feet okay thank god for brands especially brands like this okay when she reached out to me on instagram that she wanted to send me this box by the way the name of the brand is sweet fit um sweet fit ng yeah i'll leave the name on the screen sweet fit ng and it's handmade slippers and sandals she said you're perfect shoemaker okay so when she told me she wanted to send me shoes i was like okay send but in my mind i didn't have high hopes to be honest i went through her page there's some nice pieces there but I was just like let me not raise my hopes up when the shoe comes now it'll be at best a size 42 large you know a big 42 or maybe a 43 at best so let me not just raise my hopes up anyway that was how the shoe now came it's slippers anyway and this is the box it came in she also gave me a box of chocolates. Oh, thank you. My kids would love this. Um, she put a box of chocolates in. I don't know if it comes with all boxes, so, but she puts for me, okay? So in case you go and buy and there's no chocolate inside, don't say the, uh, this person did the false advertising. I think this one, I don't know. Anyway, but let me show you guys the shoes, first of all. Just look at these slippers. Doesn't these slippers look delicious? Let me tell you, uh, I'm not even, I'm impressed with the design and the look and the quality of the slippers, right? It's quite okay, but I'm more impressed with the price. When I went on her page and I saw her prices, I was like, ha, sister, how are you doing it in this economy? Because I know how much I pay for shoes, okay? So seeing affordable slippers like this, well made, in beautiful designs, I'm sold, okay? I'm sold. I'm definitely going back to buy because I mean she, she gifted me these, but I'm going to buy shoes for all my girls from there. Um, I don't know if they have kid sizes, but I'm buying for Marcia and Elizabeth because they wear slippers as well. Of slippers, okay. I'll buy for my mom, I'll buy for anybody I can buy for, okay, because I actually do love all her designs. I'm going to get these slippers in other colors. I think she has other colors, but yeah, just look at it. This okay, this is not even focusing. Yeah, just look at this. Just look at these slippers beautiful very nice design i love this bow yeah so chic so elegant quite casual but if you want to dress up and still wear flats i think you can get away with this okay but it's quite casual let me just wear it and show you guys how it looks on my feet because it's my perfect size i was like hey now nah, maybe this <laughs> Just look at this. Look at my feet. Don't they look beautiful? I don't know if this thing is focused. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it look beautiful? Hmm? Doesn't it look beautiful? Just look at this. So cute. Um, I'm just wearing it for the first time anyway, so I can't really tell you how it holds up over time But for first impressions, I am very very impressed. Okay, I am very Very impressed and again, like I said for the price, please, please. I need more. Okay. Ooh, nice. Please bring Eva Nice <laughs> um, But Eva, Clara told me that when I was not there that she said it as we really first came out, said this now. No, if I used to form a dish, she was just a dish. If I stand, let me see your hair. Stand well now. Hi, you're so cute. <laughs> you're so beautiful. 
it to be turn around slowly wow you like your hair yes yes you see see she's turning around what are you turning around for eh what are you turning around for hair that you do not make you're turning around she's even posing here Hi hey guys, um, I feel like I can't talk the way I normally talk now because of um, my hair. I mean, the way I talked before, I can't be talking like that again because of this beautiful hair. <laughs> I need to start talking like people that wear hair like this, okay? Because this hair is like a luxury wig. It was a gift from my sister. And I'm so happy. I've not even told her yet that I'm even showing you guys. I wanted to do video call with her and just start with, you know, showing her the wig and, you know, letting her know that I've already gotten it. So thank you to Onyenye for this lovely birthday gift. Like, I feel so pretty. I've always wanted a slick bob like this. I have a bob, a long bob, but it's not this slick. I've always wanted a slick bob like this and I absolutely love this one. Although the cap is a bit small. Uh, yeah, I like when my cap is bigger so I can pull it front. But anyway, it's very beautiful, so I love it. Thank you, Onyinye. <laughs> Hi, man. This, this, this is beautiful. Like, I love it. Anyway, eh, let me show you another birthday gift I got. I just saw it this morning, and I remember that I've not even told you guys. So, Amarachi gave me this on my birthday. See her here. YouTuber. YouTuber. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I said I wasn't going to talk like that again. Um, this YouTuber here, Amarache. <laughs> Say hi. Amarache is editing video, eh? I'm sure if, if she was cartoon, her hair would be standing by now. <laughs> I said, no, you must learn now. See her face. She's frustrated. No, now you understand what we used to go through. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so Amarachi gave me that gift on my birthday and I absolutely love it, but I don't know where to keep it because this office is already crowded in my eyes, so I don't know where to keep it, but I'm going to find somewhere for it. And yeah, speaking about Amarachi and YouTube, you guys, Amarachi has a YouTube channel. I don't know if I told you guys before. No, I think I have. No, I'm not mentioning it. I think I have. Anyway, Amarachi is the latest YouTuber in town. <laughs> yay, yay. <laughs> <laughs> Around she's little city by town. Funny enough, eh? She was supposed to start this channel about when? Is it a year ago or even more, Seth? Mm -hmm. It's more, Abby. Yeah, she was supposed to start this channel over a year ago, but at some point I was like, mm -mm, let's slow down first. Let us see what is happening with Amarachio before we now gonna give her YouTube channel and add. So because Amarach is in school, for those who have been wondering or asking, Amarach is actually in school and around that time she was writing jam and trying to get into school. So we had to put a pause on the YouTube channel so that she would concentrate and pass the jam and enter school. And that's what she eventually did. And then when she entered school, she was supposed to start again though. And I said, Mba, let us wait first. <laughs> when you finish 100 level and understand how uni works and how school works, then you can now add YouTube to it because I know what YouTube entails. It's not easy. It's not easy to start school and then start YouTube at the same time. One of them is going to suffer. And if you like YouTube too much, your school will suffer. And I didn't want her school to suffer. That was why we had to wait. Now she's on break. They have closed. Yeah, so Amarachi has finished one year. Um, thankfully, ASU Strike did not affect her in her school. I'm really grateful for that too because I don't know what you have been doing by now. By now, you'd have opened shop. You'd have started business because... <laughs> Yes, you and Cora. I will push up for both of you. But anyway, um, so thankfully, Asu Strike did not affect her. So that is why, you know, she finished first year. So she's now... I've not seen Amarachi school result. Let me tell you people now. Amarachi yeah. has been giving me stories about stories. No wahala. Let's see what happens second year. Don't be giving stories. <laughs> we must see that result. At least before next year, we must see that result. So if you like, continue giving us stories. But anyway, yeah. So she has started her YouTube channel. You guys should please go and subscribe. The name of her channel, I'm really sweating. You know. Here is open. Windows are open, but this place is hot. Anyway, the name of her channel is... Amarachi Isaiah is basically her name. She's just going to be doing fun videos, okay? Gen Z kind of videos. If you're looking for Gen Z type of videos, go to Amarachi's channel. Fun videos, but she's also going to do a little bit of vlog, especially when she goes back to school. You guys will see the life of a Nigerian student. <laughs> the life of a Nigerian student, um, how she lives, how she does her things, you know, maybe more videos with her friends in school. Basically all about her life and how she navigates life as a student and now a YouTuber. Are you capable? 
<laughs> you try. Every time you're laughing like someone that 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 eats something. <laughs> anyway, you guys should please go and support her channel. Go and help her, please. If you like me, please just help me go and support her channel. It would be a dream come true for her to get. Please. Uh... <laughs> You are going to kneel direct up your hand and beg. It's not, it's not by shouting, please. Oh. Nobody's your mate here. <laughs> Nobody's your mate. You're going to kneel down and say, aunties and uncles are beg. I thank God, beg with <laughs> But yeah, you guys should go and support her. Uh, right now, she's editing a video that she collabed with Uche. And yeah, she's learning how to edit as well. One of the reasons why I wanted her to learn how to edit from the get go is that editing is one of the most. Oh, this one focus on my face now. Uh -huh. <laughs> Editing is one of the most cumbersome or stressful parts of being a YouTuber. So if you can overcome editing early enough, then it will be a smooth sale for you. And again, it's an extra skill to have, okay? Because we're all about having side hustles, extra skills, any skills that any skill that we can get, at least for them that are in school and are still young, any extra skills that they can get is going to be very important to them in any way. Possible. I don't know. I don't know what the future holds. I don't know how the future will be, but I know that filming videos, um, video content, visual content is actually gaining so much ground. Has gained so much ground actually. So knowing how to edit videos is an extra skill you can use and make money on the side. Or to help in your own career, okay? I've actually talked too much. Oh. I didn't plan to talk this much. My mom is around. Yay! <laughs> My mom came yesterday, so you guys are going to be seeing her in subsequent vlogs. But I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I don't even know what's inside this vlog. Uh -huh, update on my children's hair. I'm going to make their hair again this weekend because that thread did not work. I don't know why I even went to say they should do thread. They should have done the normal hair they've been doing since. So I now said no, they should do thread because thread actually lasts longer. African trading, trade hairstyle. It lasts longer, but that one did not work. So I'm going to make their hair this weekend. And um, yeah, I'll just vlog it in another video and let you guys know about it. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.